क्वेश्चन दैट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव ऑफ क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फाइंड आउट द टाइम टेकन बाय द बस टू रीच फ्रॉम ए टू बी सेकंड क्वेश्चन सी टू डी थर्ड क्वेश्चन ई टू जी एंड द लास्ट क्वेश्चन टोटल जर्नी दैट वी विल डू फॉर ए फर्स्ट देन बी देन सी एंड देन डी ओके दिस वी हैव टू फाइंड so we will do it for a a to b स्पीड ऑफ बस 60 किलोमीटर पर आवर सो टाइम टेकन स्पीड डिस्टेंस बाय स्पीड इक्वल टू 4170 डिवाइडेड बाय 60 it will come understood from c to d the distance from c to d Two one six zero kilometer. A speed sixty kilometer per hour. Time taken by the bus two one six zero by sixty kilometer. That will come to thirty-six hour. That will come to thirty-six hour. So the bus takes thirty-six hour to travel from C to D. Understood? The C part of the question is the time taken for the bus to travel from E to G. From E to G. that will be equal to the distance equal to distance between e to g equal to distance between e to f plus distance between f to g equal to e to f e to f 4830 and from f to g 2550 if you add it it is coming 7380 Kilometer. Now again, time taken is equal to distance by speed equal to seven three eight zero by sixty kilometer per hour. it will come to 123 hours and that is the time taken for the bus 
to travel from E to G. Okay, the last question, the last question of this, uh, try this section. Time taken to travel, time for total journey. That how we can find, we will find the distance of this journey equal to distance of total journey by speed is equal to a distance between a b plus b to c plus c to d plus d to e plus e to f plus f to g plus g to a divided by 60 kilometer per hour. So, D portion of the question says time taken by the bus for total journey. Uh, given a speed is equal to 60 km per hour and distance equal to the distance between A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, E to F, F to G plus G to A. All the distances to be added up. So, that will give 4170 plus 3410 plus 2160 plus 8140 plus 4830 plus 2550 plus 1290. If you add all the distances, it will give you 26550 kilometer. Now, this distance is to divided by a speed that is 60 kilometer per hour. We have given division here. Okay. So, 26550 divided by 60, 0 will get cancelled with 0. So, we will divide 2655 by 6. So, if you divide it will come 4 for 2 and 3 by 6. So, 3 by 6 is to be multiplied by 60, 60 because 1 hour is having 60 minutes. So, I have multiplied it will come to 2 by 3 sorry 2, 3 by 6 hour equal to 30 minutes. So, our answer will be 4 for 2 hour and 30 minutes. Understood? Like that we have completed our question. Now we are going to solve this uh, problem that is example 1. How we can solve it? The question is population of Sundar Nagar was 2,35,471 in the year 1991. In the year 2001, it was found to be increased by 72,958. What was the population of the city in 2001? So it can be solved in two, three ways. We will discuss one by one. The first one, we have to add. Now population in 2001 equal to we will add this. We will add 9, 4, 
एट थ्री लैख एट थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी नाइन इन वन स्टेट द नंबर ऑफ बाइसिकल सोल्ड इन द ईयर टू थाउजेंड टू एंड टू थाउजेंड थ्री वॉज सेवन लैख फोर्टी थ्री थाउजेंड इन द ईयर टू थाउजेंड थ्री एंड फोर द नंबर ऑफ बाइसिकल सोल्ड वॉज एट लैख वन हंड्रेड इन विच ईयर वे आर मोर बाइसिकल सोल्ड एंड हाउ मेनी मोर ओके आई हैव रिटर्न इन दिस वे टू थाउजेंड टू एंड टू थाउजेंड थ्री द The cycle sold was eight lakh one hundred. Can you say which is the bigger number? Definitely, it is eight lakh one hundred, and that is in the year two thousand three and four. So we will write the answer in two thousand three. More cycles we are. Sold how much more? So we will subtract this number from this number. That is from the bigger number. We will subtract the smaller number. I will subtract here. Here That will give you hundred seven fifty seven one hundred. That will give you the answer fifty seven thousand one hundred, and that is the number of cycles sold more. Clear? So third question: The town newspaper is published every day. One copy has twelve pages every day. Eleven thousand nine hundred eighty copies are printed. How many total pages are printed every day? Here we will try to solve this question. In one copy, there are twelve pages. That is twelve into one pages. In two copies, twelve into two. That is twenty-four pages. In three copies, twelve into three. Thirty-six pages, and so on. In eleven thousand nine hundred eighty copies, equal to twelve into eleven thousand nine hundred eighty. That calculation I have done here. Eleven thousand nine hundred eighty multiplied by twelve. Multiplication is done. So it is coming one lakh forty-three thousand seven hundred sixty. Answer will be so one lakh forty-three thousand seven hundred sixty pages are printed every. D. Understood. Now second part of the question. Two hundred pages make one copy. That is one notebook. So six lakh pages make six lakh divided by two hundred. If you are doing from one zero to one zero, one zero to one zero, six six thousand divided by two, it will come three thousand notebooks. And that is the answer of this question. We have got two answer. One is sixty thousand pages, and second is three thousand copies. Okay, now we will go for doing the exercise number one dash two. The first question: It a book exhibition was held for four days in a school. The number of tickets sold at the counter on the first, second, third, and final day was respectively one thousand ninety four, one thousand eight hundred twelve. 2050 and 2751. Find the total number of tickets sold on all the four days. Okay, for we will how we will do first day. Second day, one 
वन एट वन टू थर्ड डे टू जीरो फाइव जीरो फोर्थ डे टिकट सोल्ड इक्वल टू टू सेवन फाइव वन तो टोटल टिकट सोल्ड Equal to we have to add everything, and it will come seven thousand seven hundred and seven ticket. Clear? So how we will solve the run wished by Sekhar? Ten thousand. Runs scored. By Sekhar. Six nine eight zero. Runs needed to complete wished score so we have to subtract 6980 from 10000 that will be runs required to complete then only sekhar can complete 10000 that is Ten thousand minus six thousand nine hundred and eighty. Three thousand and twenty runs. He needs to complete his. Ten thousand score. The third question: In an election, the successful candidate registered five lakh seventy-seven thousand five hundred votes, and his nearest rival secured three lakh forty-eight thousand seven hundred votes. By what margin did the successful candidate win the election? Okay. So. Five lakh seventy-seven thousand and five hundred. Again, votes registered by the 
लूजिंग कैंडिडेट थ्री लैख फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड How much margin is there? I will subtract three lakh forty-eight thousand seven hundred from five lakh seventy-seven thousand five hundred. It will come and this is the answer for your question. Now the next question that is fourth question. Kirti bookstore sold books worth 285,891 in the first week of June and books worth 4,000,000. Seven hundred sixty-eight in the second week of the month. How much was the sale for the two weeks together? In which week was the sale greater, and by how much? See, this question has got three parts. One is we have to tell what was the money he received in the sale in the two weeks. One question. second question you have to recognize which week was having higher sale and third question uh, how much was the difference of sale in the two weeks so we will do one by one so first week sale Two lakh eighty-five thousand eight hundred ninety-one rupees. Second week sale four lakh. Seven hundred sixty-eight rupees. Sales in the two weeks Plus four lakh. That is two lakh eighty five thousand eight hundred ninety one rupees plus four lakh and seven hundred sixty eight rupees. That will make a total of Okay, so in the two week sale will be six lakh eighty six thousand six hundred fifty nine rupees. Now from this two digit, can you say what is the higher amount of sale in first week or second week? Obviously, it is second week. So second question, second week had. Greater sale and the third part by how much increase was there? So we will take two number 
that is 4 lakh 768 and 2 lakh 85,891. Bigger amount four lakh seven hundred sixty eight. A smaller amount two lakh eighty five thousand eight hundred ninety one. A difference. We have to do minus. Uh, 16 minus 9 is equal to 7, 6, 8, this is 9, 5, 4, this is 9, 1, this is 3, 1. So here. Is all coming in rupees. So bigger amount is equal to four lakh seven hundred sixty eight rupees. A smaller amount two lakh eighty five thousand eight hundred ninety one rupees. So what is the difference? We will subtract and answer is coming this much rupees. That much increase was there uh, the sale from first week to second week, and that is the end of this question here we will end this video further discussion will be in our next video